Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, I say hey, hi, and hello. You are more than welcome to like, share, subscribe, unsubscribe, call your friend, call family members, decide whether or not you want to go on your journey as a divine being. Whatever you feel that your spirit has guided you here to this platform to do, I pray that it's guided you to be able to accept the truth and nothing but the truth. There are no coincidences, especially not in the spirit realm. Everything happens for a reason. I learned that lesson um, again today. I can't say that I learned it for the first time today, but spirit definitely reminded me that everything happens for a reason. So you being here is not by coincidence. That's the moral of my story. Nine times out of 10, spirit's going to confirm something here for you or somebody that's in your energy that you're concerned about, you've been thinking about, or something that you've just deeply been pondering over, right? We need answers. That's the purpose. That's the purpose for these messages. If you're returning back to the video, congratulations. We made it to a brand new day. We have our health. We have our prosperity. We have our mental faculties. And we are still going on our journey. And guess what? The download is about to get deep. Today has pushed me to go so hard for the collective. I heard spirits say the next level. The enemy's camp has been upset. Satan's camp, all his flunkies, all his minions, all his little flies and spies and little bitty baby gnats or whatever the hell they send, the little cucaracha bugs, whatever they, they want to transmute themselves into being, right? Why? Because they are the lowest on the spiritual totem pole and they can't help that. They can't change it. The law has already been administered. We're the ones that are coming along to shed the light in those dark spaces. Needless to say, that was a real long intro. It seemed like a commercial break, but it's not. <laughs> For the new people, commercial breaks, well, let's just say that you'll understand what those are as we get to know each other. If you like my vibe, if you're a part of my soul tribe, then eventually it will all make sense to you at some point and or another. Pray about it. Listen, hey, it is what it is. I heard spirits say going to the next level. That video that I put out yesterday, the 911 emergency, really, really shook up some of your enemies. It pissed them off. Listen, they're pulling out all of the stops. They want to affect you. They want to come kill, steal, and destroy anything that they believe you like and or love. Listen, I just heard the weakest link. Ooh, who am I talking to? Well, it's definitely not the divine collective when I think about the weakest link. Because they're at the bottom of the spiritual totem pole and the war angels are here to implement the law. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. I've already called in my appropriate protection. I pray that you've done the same. It's the best thing that you can do for yourself in any given situation. Not just on this video, but when you sit with any practitioner, you need to sit with your higher self. Nobody will fight harder for you than you. Your ori, your spirit, your soul, your path by divine right is something that you're required to show up for, okay? I call upon the highest of white lights, only the highest of white lights. Anything other than the highest of white lights, please close those doors, please, and thank you. All evil eye, negativity, hexes, curses, anything trying to stop what the most high is asking for us to do. <laughs> please return it back to its native state of absolutely nothingness. I just heard the most high and or divine messengers say, your enemies are nothing. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. This is why their energy is returning to its native state of absolutely nothing. Listen, they're spying real bad. They're spying super hard. They're looking for you. They're asking about you. They're talking about you. There's a lot of conversation with you in mind. Listen, we should feel so special that we've inspired them to have a conversation. Okay. Where they're messing up is that they should be having a conversation with the Most High. The angels are standing by. The angels are watching them as they do whatever they do. There's recording angels that have been loose. There's doors that they never, ever, ever can open again. This is why they're angry. Death is here. Somebody sent death to you. Okay? Somebody sent death. They don't want you to be in your ten of cups. They're really upset now that the divine is starting to open up these portals and or doors of judgment and light. 
They're quite uncomfortable, I just heard Spirit say. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody's angry that you're not affected by them. What you know that they've done, okay? They wanted you to be heartbroken. They wanted you to be hurt. Yeah. You are the king of pentacles. Prosperous, happy, joyful, kind, loving. I just heard you're God's favorite. You're one of God's favorite. You're the chosen one. Yeah. The devil don't like this. The devil's getting real upset trying to figure out how they can wiggle their way back into your life. I'm getting family members, y'all. I'm getting toxic, dark energy from family members, okay? One of these family members is the worst of them all. This person is a true Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type of an energy. Smiling one day, the next minute calling you all kinds of names and trying to curse your existence behind your back. Yeah, this person is angry, okay? With the death in the world here, after this person did this death prayer, they did something where they wanted you to be sick, okay? They don't like your strength. Somebody tried to come for your power. I just heard Beyonce's song. Uh, what's that song? You'll never take my power, my power, my power. You'll never take my power, my power. <laughs> they feel a way. Oh, wow. They feel a way. How can they ever feel a way? They don't have the right to feel a way when you're breaking the generational curses in the family, which was supposed to be a gift to them as well. They're denouncing your offer of love and wanting to break these curses. They want to stay in toxicity. Somebody did a death spell on you, divine being. Strength represents your strength. They want your power. Ten of Cups represents family, soul tribe, okay? The world represents the end of a cycle. Somebody could very well lose their life. A lot of people, possibly as many as ten, 1010 is very significant. I mean, people that are just going to drop. Because you're already forgiving these people. And let me tell you, they did the unthinkable. Okay? They went to the dark side on a lot of stuff. Very wicked, very dark people. Now they're angry because the Most High is showing you favor. Every day you wake up and they see you smiling and you have all of your body parts and you're able and you're... You know, it, it really gets up under their skin. This is a very dark energy. Wow. Your laugh irritates their demons. Your smile shakes up their shakes up their demonic forces at their core, I just heard. Some of these could be uh, whew, people possessed. Real demons. I don't even know what else to say. They've been in the darkness for so long. Yeah, seven of swords is them being sneaky and deceptive. Thank you, spirit. We're going to reveal it today. The world and the death and the strength was them trying to take your power, wanting you dead. They wanted to end your life so that you couldn't be here in the world to do what it is that you've come to do. Well, listen, show me the divine collective. This has made you go harder for spirit. This has made you go <laughs> harder for the collective. The three of cups represents the soul tribe for me. You are a leader. You are a boss. You're helping people with a kind and genuine heart. A real king knows that they are a leader and they always have to make decisions based on the people, on the larger scale of things. It's never a selfish pursuit, right? To sit in a position and be like, yeah, look at me, I'm a king. No, a king is concerned for the people. You're a leader. That means that people are looking up to you sometimes for answers, for guidance. There is no abuse of power here. You got something really coming in great. And whatever it is, these people are saying, I can't live to see this person prosper. This is how dark they are, y'all. Okay, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. I just heard that. Didn't I just tell you? <laughs> <laughs> I almost dropped a tear. The Empress and the Emperor represent you as a divine collective. 
You're coming up as somebody that deserves all good things to happen to them. You have been through hell. And here comes my speeding car in the distance because it's getting away from karma. I just heard somebody try to mark you. Mark meaning they wanted every evil person to collaborate with them, a marking like an entity attachment, right? Where there's just this dark cloud that follows you. Spirit says, I don't think so. Archangel Michael is like, I don't think so. There's my karma, always on time. Temperance represents joy, balance, peace, wish fulfillment. <laughs> The Three of Cups represents your soul tribe all day, every day, on this day, right now, in this hour. This is what this is. Listen, let's go ahead and get in touch. You are the magician. They tried to do magic on you. How are you going to do magic on a magician? You're the origin of it all. The Most High says you're the originator. And I give you high rank in being the alchemist as these people are low on the totem pole. I just heard low vibrational people. They could have done some type of magic. Okay, King of Wands energy was right after that. Could be a fire sign. Don't necessarily have to be, but that is the energy that I'm getting here. Yeah, these people want to hold you back. They're bitter, they're unhappy, and they know that their outcome is not going to be favorable. Some of these people are going to die a very slow and painful death. Again, this is not a wish fulfillment, not for divine people. We don't wish these things on people. This is just the truth as I see it. This is what it is. They're gossiping a lot. These people are heartbroken because they made a very stupid decision and they can't take it back. And they know where they're going. These people are being tormented. These are family members too. Very close family members. They wish that they could move forward with you, but they can't change the investments that they made in the past. Well, here's the thing. This is a recent past. This is a recent death spell. This could have been done last night. This could have been done last night, Spirit says. Yeah, they wanted everything to come in slow for you. They can't stop you. You are the matriarch of the family. You are the one that God chose to break the generational curse. Ever so often in the generation, somebody comes along to shake up the curse, to break the curse. And you said, you know what, Most High? I know it's not going to be easy because every devil in hell got the message. Every demon in hell was like, oh, hold up. Yeah, the moment you decided to answer the divine call, step in your truth, right? Because many are called, but very few are chosen. Why? What does that mean? Some people are called to do God's work and they don't answer the call. Two. <laughs> King of Cups represents psychic intuition, water sign energy, intuitive dreaming. You know who these people are. They know that you can see them. There is no longer a veil and Gabriel is not playing about your life. Gabriel's about to administer the judgment. These people do not have long. Listen, fret not. I just heard. Fret not of evil workers and evil doers. Listen, what is this? The seven of swords? Oh yeah. <laughs> They're so sneaky and deceptive. The mask has been removed. They're embarrassed. Here comes my judgment. Somebody's sick right now from doing witchcraft on you and the family. These people hid the fact that they were like these dark ass warlocks. Yeah, this came up in reverse. I told you, dark practitioners. I'm sorry, I took it the wrong way. The Hierophant came up in reverse. Somebody is a dark practitioner and they're collaborating with other family members. These are dark warlocks, okay? I'm hearing church by day and devil church by night. Somebody prayed from seven at night to seven in the morning, from eight at night to eight in the morning. These people are spiritually left out in the cold. Five of pentacles, they've been stripped of any and all power that they had based on you being the straw that broke the camel's back. You were the gift but now you're the curse on their life. Why did I say the curse? Because they should have never touched you. It is written, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. That's not the words of the prophets. That's not the words of the apostles. Those are direct commands from the most high. 
The Most High said, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. How are you going to change the promise that is written? Okay, that was a little commercial break. Newcomers, hold on. Okay, hang in there. It's going to get deep before it gets better. It's going to look a little crazy before it looks like it's all making sense. Just hold on to your sanity. I promise you, if you're going through hell, keep going. There's light at the end of the tunnel. I promise you there is. Listen. These people are way down, way down. Hmm. They're begging, they're crying. This dark practitioner did magic on you. It was an epic freaking fail. This was last night. They wanted something to happen to you. They want you to fall. They want you to have an accident. Anything to put you in the nine of pentacles energy, which is the slowest moving energy to abundance and or prosperity and or being about your father's work. But it doesn't mean that they can stop it. You see, the nine of pentacles represents a stumbling block. The most high said, keep your mind on me. I will keep you in perfect peace. <laughs> the hangman is here i'm laughing so hard on the inside of my soul if you only knew what i had to go through to get here on this video with you today whoo it's not about me it's all about you i am a servant and i accept the call a lot of people were called but they didn't answer because it was too hard for them but i'm here these people are fighting they're upset. They look like Tweedle D and Tweedle mother freaking dumb. The blind is leading the blind. You know how I know? Because how could you not see, you evil spiritual practitioner? You hierophant, abuse of power, fallen from grace ass energy. You did magic on a divine being as recent as last night because you don't like the fact that people are awakening to their power, that your contract is up, Gabriel's blowing a horn, whooping your ass, the entities are on your ass, the divine ancestors are tormenting you, and the people that did this to you and your own family, do you know how pissed off your ancestors are? They're blocking some of your ancestors from being freed up from this karmic ass curse. Listen. They want to stay with the devil and suckle the devil's milk and on the devil's breast. Ha! Huh. That was a slightly spiritually pissed off commercial break because these people are quite disgusting to me at this point. Spiritually, needless to say, let me go back to the reading. This was an epic freaking fail. It didn't work. Death spell death is here the world to end your life to end your life because they're in a, a spiritual ego because they don't want to see you thrive and go to the next level somebody's eyes are getting real squinty somebody's somewhere angry that they've lost their gifts they can't see they can't hear and they definitely do not have the keys anymore somebody's pissed off somebody went to a dark practitioner Whoever this person was, this is the person that you go to. <laughs> when you want to get the job done. And here we have another one that they brought to the slaughter. Here, another one. Let me see what else here. Sorry for the interruption. Give me just one moment. Yeah, somebody went to a dark ass practitioner. Whoever this person was, they're a worker. Eight of Pentacles, they worked. I said eight, right? The Eight of Pentacles was eight hours last night. This person prayed. Listen, <laughs> this person now is getting their ass whooped. Whoever this dark practitioner is, listen, this family member is fake. Okay? They wanted conflict. With you and the Knight of Cups, somebody that was showing you love. They did conflict spells, death spells, sickness spells, confusion spells, everything to tear down your foundation as recent as 24 hours. Because it's a 911 state of emergency and they don't like the judgment and they can't change it. They're really upset that they can't change it. They're really, really mad that they can't change what they did. That's really why they're upset. Okay. 
Five of Swords in reverse is somebody being mentally conflicted. Okay? You know how I know? Because the Knight of Wands is at the bottom of my deck. Paranoid. This practitioner's paranoid that you're going to see them in the spirit realm. You already know who they are. I just heard the color red is very significant. Okay? That could be... The color of somebody's car, vehicle, truck. I don't know, but this is this dark practitioner. Show me this person. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This person was paid. Could be a fire sign energy or the fire sign, whoever this person is in your family, Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius, paid this person to do it. And the price was cheap. This person damn near wanted to do it for free. Anything to shut up a divine being that's exposing darkness. This hierophant that in reverse damn near did it for free. This person knows that their time and their days are numbered. I just heard screaming, crying, craziness. These people are staying in because they're afraid that the spirits that they conjured up are going to attack them. So they're staying in their house. They're afraid to come out into the light. I'm getting very dark spaces. These are, these are gatekeeper type energies, okay? They open doors. They like to leave doors open, you know? That's what they do. Well, they opened the door on the right one, baby. Again, if you knew what it took for me to get here with you today, you would understand mercy and grace. All I can tell you is that I'm so glad we made it to this moment. Congratulations. The Most High is protecting you. King of Cups represents you being in a loving energy, water sign energy, but you're intuitive also. Three of Cups also represents, even though that's just your soul tribe energy and the duality spirit is telling me that this was a collaborative effort. Could have been three or four more family members. I'm getting three. Okay, maybe four. Somebody bowed out gracefully. This Six of Pentacles, this practitioner was paid, okay, to come against you and a divine union and everything good that you got. Could be a Libra, the practitioner. I'm getting October 15th, 10th, 12th, 7th, whoever this person is, they're a Hierophant in reverse. But justice is here. Mayat says I'm moving faster on this person because they violated spiritual rights. They violated the spiritual law. So Mayat is spinning the block right now as we speak. The doors that they tried to open up or you are now being opened on them in reverse. Show me more about this practitioner. Yeah, the family members are done. I mean, again, somebody's just going to drop, if not all of them at the same time. Somebody's sick right now. This practitioner is trying to forget what they did just as recent as last night. This was not the first time that they petitioned this practitioner. Seven of Cups. This person was creating illusions. Okay, they wanted you to be out of your mind, a little crazy, you know, that, oh, she's a little crazy, you know, she's a little touched. This was actually rumors that they started. The Page of Swords represents gossip as well, you know, wanting people to see you as crazy because you represent the truth. You're the Empress. You're caring, you're loving, you're kind, okay? You came out as the Empress and the King of Cups, a very deep compassion for humanity and people and love. The practitioner's walking away with the hopes that he can forget what it is that he did. It's too late. Why? Because my aunt's waiting for him at the end of the block. Maya's like, where the hell you think you're going? We saw that. <laughs> Somebody is shocked that you got up this morning and that you're okay. Somebody wanted a natural catastrophe. They just wanted something bad to happen to you. This was their wish. This was their prayer. So won't it be returning back to sender. So shall it be. Somebody said over my dead body. The most high said, okay. <laughs> Somebody was like, she will not be here. She will not embark on this path. It's over my dead body. The most high said, okay. You know, you can learn from a fool. So this person took a leap of faith. Hey, I'm going to do it again. You dumb, 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 da, dumb, dumb, da, dumb. Just to see if this person, this empress, is who the Most High said that they are. They needed to prove a point. A very foolish, self-absorbed, self-righteous, 
funky, nasty ass points. They did it again last night. The tower came down by the morning. Oh my God. Before the night is up, before the day is through, everything you did is gonna return back to you. That was just a little jubilee in the middle of the motherfucking commercial break because let me tell you something, somebody gotta sing and laugh to keep from crying and it might as well be us. The tower is here. Somebody's about to get that spiritual work. Gabriel is blowing the horn. My aunt got a list. Your ancestors have a list. Their ancestors are pissed because not only did they reach outside of the family to get a practitioner, they too were all simultaneously channeling negative energy towards you. Ooh. I just heard they want your divine union. They want your new beginning. Show me what it is I need to see for this practitioner. This person feels like a fool. This person feels like a fool. Okay. They could be saying that you're a witch. Some type of witch. It's like a witch hunt. That's what I hear. Like a witch hunt. But they can't touch you. These people have started all types of rumors about you. To, so people won't see you in a good light. To stop you on your path. They want people to see you as somebody that's a target. And this is their ploy. This is their plan. Now they look really stupid. When I tell you that these people worked really, 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 really hard. I'm getting eight. Could have been eight days, eight months, eight weeks. But they've been working from eight to eight. That is their time. As soon as that sun goes down. As soon as that sun goes down. As soon as the sun you are the light. You illuminated everything in the darkness. And let me tell you something. They scattered all around the room like roaches with the lights on. Listen, hey, I'm just the messenger. The Five of Cups. Somebody's grieving because they know that they're either going to a funeral or they're planning their own funeral. Are you going to a funeral? Are you going to attend your own funeral? Listen, you're coming up as the high priest is very intuitive, very sharp. Very caring, very loving. Why would they even try you? Why are they still even bothering? Spirit says it's a crab in a bucket mentality. They want to take you to hell with them. It's a hell to the no. Game over. Checkmate. Spiritual checkmate. Ten of Wands. is then being weighed down. The Ten of Wands. Two. Ultimate being weighed down. Stressed out. Uh, again, upset that your wish fulfillment is coming into play. Show me more, Holy Spirit. What else is it that we need to see there? These are family members, very dark family members. Could be an uncle, could be an auntie, could be a, a combination of the two. That fell right into my lap. I'm going to take it exactly the way it came. The will of fortune is bad luck. Stinky, funky bad luck anything that is, has aligned itself with darkness and satan is now being destroyed because of you you've gone untouched unscathed mentally sound they needed to make you crazy first before they took you out just in case you tried to call upon people to tell them what they were doing they wanted you to be looked at as psycho okay this was the prayer Bad health, sickness, death, destruction, loss of fortune. Listen, they're wondering why it's not working. Aye, because they're blinded. Blinded to the truth. They can't even hear the most high. They're not having conversations with the most high. These low-level entities are tricking them right now. They believe that they're communicating with, with divine beings and they're talking to demons that are playing tricks on them. I just heard my mind is playing tricks on me. <laughs> Lord. Oh. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Listen, a sister could be involved as well. You got a whole bunch of funky ass family members. I just heard 10, 13 people in the family. But this group, this group right here, they're the ones that they send in to come and check. How you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm blessed. I made it to a new day. These are those people. The nine of swords is somebody having mental unrest, depression. Somebody wants to take themselves out. 
Somebody is like, I cannot take this karma coming back. They know what they sent out to you and to think that that could even come back, 1% of it has to come back to them. They're spazzing out mentally. They can't not even function properly. Somebody's not taking a bath. Somebody is bound to their bed. Somebody's sitting there in turmoil and their house is in conflict. Now they're all fighting each other. Five people in that group, three people in this group, they figured, if, hey, if we're all channeling this energy, how the hell is this person going to make it out? And they're like, what? You mean she's still alive? You mean he's still alive? You mean these entities are not taking our petition? They're not taking our offerings? The gatekeepers are not opening up the door? The hellhounds are bringing back the wrong messages? The monitoring angels are confused? They're sitting with the monitoring angels and guess what's going on? Their minds are playing tricks on them. The monitoring angels are like, yeah, you know, death is coming. Sickness is coming. All these bad things are coming. Blah, blah, blah. They're like, okay, cool. It's working. No, fool. You idiot stick. You got to be as dumb as a bag of nickels. That's your prophecy for your own life. Here lies the plot twist. The trick is on you. These entities are telling you what's coming for you. They just told you death is coming. Destruction is coming. They don't even know that they're listening to their own fate. This is how the devil plays tricks with these people. The devil's not faithful. The devil don't care about these people. Not at all. Now they calling out to who? To who? Blinded to the truth. You know how I know? Because you wouldn't have did this stupid shit. The hangman lets me know it's a failed plan. Now they don't know what to do. People are just going to start dropping like flies. The moon is here. I told you. Hidden, hiding, a veil, intuition, hidden enemies. I just heard howling at the moon, moon magic. Okay. Now they're trying to find somebody to help them. Four swords, somebody got sick. Somebody is sick. A whole bunch of people is dropping. They could go to the doctor and get a very bad diagnosis. Again, this is all resentment, jealousy, hatred, unhealed trauma, and unhealthy, unwarranted competition. Why would you do that when somebody was born into your bloodline to break a generational curse? Boy, you got to be lost. Spirit says, yes, they are. Four swords represents sickness. Somebody got sat the hell down by spirit. I mean, as soon as the prayers went out, within 24 hours, spirit set that ass down. Oh, my God. Anything else that you want us to know, most high, source of all things, the light of love. <laughs> sneaky and mother freaking deceptive. How can you be sneaky and deceptive when we see right through you? You're quite transparent. You thought we were playing when we were like, oh, I'm the high priestess. You thought that was just something that we were saying. That's what you thought? That's, you thought it was just a title? You thought we got here because we're like, I'm going to be the high priestess. We didn't, we didn't give ourselves that title. We didn't mark ourselves. The most high chose us. All we did was answer the call. There are people before us, elected ones that Satan tried and they failed. You said, you know what, Most High? I'll go. Most High's like, okay, it's going to be tough. But I promise you, you can't be touched. They can do anything they want, but they can't kill you. They can't take your joy. They can't kill your peace. They can't kill your love, your family, your prosperity, whatever the hell they trying to take, honey. At this point, somebody needs to get their ass to the doctor. Somebody needs to write their last will and testament, but I don't believe they have anything to leave other than really good lessons for their offsprings of what not to mother freaking do. God bless their children. May the curses not fall upon their children. The children are innocent. The empress and the high priestess is coming out in the deck. Are you playing with God's people? What the hell you think this is? Little baby Mickey Mouse ass fools choosing my words kindly precisely because i really wanted to rip a, a, a new one in these people asses <laughs> these people are going to go through financial hardships spiritual hardships bad health mental health there's going to be one that's going to outlive them all just so they can see that god is not planned this is judgment that is the torment this person will be begging to die 
waiting on karma to come. I asked Spirit, what else did you want us to know? You're coming up as a Queen of Swords, very smart, very intelligent. These people wanted to dumb you down. They wanted to block your third eye. They wanted to shut your mouth. They wanted to come for your root chakra. They wanted to trigger you in every way, shape, fashion and or form left right up down any way they could and they got rejected and blocked now the chastening of the most high has them drinking and thinking and sinking into darkness slipping into darkness they're slipping into darkness they keep slipping in the darkness queen of swords <laughs> listen you got queen of swords on that ass how the hell are you going to send death for me? How the hell are you going to send death for the chosen ones? We're not afraid of death. Because if the Most High says that that is my cup, so shall it be. If this cup is not mine, says Yeshua HaMashiach, let this cup pass from me. They hate Jesus. They don't like him. They think he's weak. These people are haters of the most high they don't like nature they don't like that which is good they don't like that which is prosperous these people tried to take your crown and now they're falling to the ground you know i'm still playing to be a rapper i just need a ghost writer <laughs> i need a ghost writer w-r-i-t-e-r -E and i need a ghost writer r-i-d-e-r because somebody's always ready for karma. Listen, that was a very sarcastic commercial break because I'm just so happy to be here. I'm so happy to take a deep breath. I'm so happy that I can blink my eyes, that I can wiggle my nose, that I can taste my food, that my toes work, my fingers move. Everything is working for the greater good of humanity. I'm just grateful if for nothing else would profit a man to gain the entire world and wealth and riches and all these things, but lose your soul? Huh? Be ye in the world, but not of the world. You mean to tell me you want to stay here? We didn't come to stay. We're not afraid of death. What is that? Because if the Most High says that is the order, then we accept what the Most High said. But the Most High says your life will not be shortened. Your foot will not stumble. Those stumbling blocks are now roadblocks for these people. Judgment is here and Gabriel is poof. Gabriel got a list so long, honey, the list keeps growing. The window of opportunity for mercy and grace is done. Look at your world. So can you imagine what judgment is coming down on your family? Family members. Ooh, they're not your family. They're not your friends. They're not your family. Your soul tribe is your family. Knight of Pentacles. Since you were a child, somebody's breadcrumbing you in the family. They're the ones that they send in to, you know, oh, I love my auntie. Oh, she loves me. This is a fake ass family member, honey. They're dark and demonic, playing with some little wicked ass spirit now that they can't even control. The spirit has been banished. They don't know what the hell to do. Now they're trying to find another practitioner. And the beautiful part about it is, that's a perfect plan. I'm going to tell you why. Because all they're doing is bringing the enemy to the forefront under judgment. Every time they go and get somebody else new, the list just grows and grows and grows. Gabriel's like, okay. The Most High is like, throw that ass on the list. The gods are silenced. The ancestors are not moving until the Most High say. The Most High says, I'm going to be about that work. I told you in those last days, you're going to know my chosen few by their works, by their labor, their labor of love for all of humanity, really wanting to see people praise the Most High and be okay. The war was never yours, but it was always won. <laughs> Whoever this breadcrumb ass uh, family member, they thought they were smarter than you. They're quite immature. They could be still suffering from things in their childhood, 
I'm just getting hatred of their mother, just all kinds of stuff. We ain't gonna even get into that. This is who their God is. They're officially denounced from your bloodline. They're officially ripped out of your lineage. You were the gift to set the bloodline free. And the Most High says, listen, one plus one is two, not 83. You trying to help these lost ass, sheep ass, stiff neck ass, stubborn, blaspheming the Most High ass, wicked ass family members is not adding up anymore. Kind of an energy. Listen, these people sealed their fate. You came to help them even when you didn't realize it. You came to help them. You gave them the rope and they hung themselves. Now the slander, the gossip is because they want to blame it on you. Somebody put a spiritual hit out for you. Seven of swords. It's a useless battle. Being sneaky and deceptive is like, what is that for? What, are you hiding? You're transparent. You have no power. You have no God. Oh, you got a God. But even that God has abandoned you. The Arthur of the air, the God of this world, that person's abandoned you. That person turned you over to the most high because this, this, this devil got to get permission from the most high to even touch you. Oh, where you been, Satan? Oh, I've just been going to and fro. Doing my job. Looking for whom I can devour. You know, you did you did uh bind me to this world. Satan is bound here. Can never go to the light. <laughs> just doing doing my job in the world, because that's where I'm gonna be. I can never come back. I've been tossed out of heaven. I fell from grace. But even in that. The devil got an answer to the most high God. Oh boy. You got an answer to the most high God. You got to get permission to even do anything. Satan tried to override the most high God, but we're not surprised. That's his job. That's her job. Sometimes Satan comes in a three-piece suit. Sometimes it's your supervisor. Sometimes it's your uncle. Sometimes it's the deacon at church. Sometimes it's your little auntie that's making you food and putting witchcraft in the food. Somebody don't need to eat people's food. Get you some baking soda with a little bit of warm water. You're going to burp. You're going to pass gas because that's what deliverance looks like. That was just a random spiritual tip on a commercial break. Why? Because I'm clocked in for my father. I've had people say, oh, don't be giving up spiritual tips like that. You need to charge more. You need to make people pay you. For what? My father always takes care of me. Yes, I'm about my father's work. But you think I'm going to put money and things before the most high? After what the most high had to do to get me to this day, to this seat, to be on this video with you? You think I'm, what the hell? You don't get here because you, oh. Ooh, you don't get to this level because you fell for the devil's tricks. And even when you did, you learned and the most high preserved you and you learned, oh, okay, that was my evil twin. Okay, that was a karmic child that I had. I was never supposed to mix with that bloodline. Oh, okay, that was never my best friend. Oh, okay, that practitioner took advantage of me. Oh, okay, I just cut a cord with any and all things that had me bound to things that were not of God. Hi, Satan. What the hell are you doing here? Get out of here. That's how you talk to him. You got dominion over de demonic forces. You got dominion over Satan. <laughs> These people are trying to negotiate with the devil. Still sounding stupid. Ain't cried out to the most high. The most high and turned a deaf ear. And baby, they want to shut your mouth. Shut, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut, shut your mouth. Spirit says, I don't think so. 
Six of Cups is them not being able to stop thinking about what they did. See, this is the past. But the past is their present. Their minds have been smoted. They're trying to forget what it is that they did and they can't. The Most High it just put it into their memory. Hmm. Yeah, the Most High put into their memory so they can't forget what they did. That's what smoting looks like. You are in your Ten of Pentacles. You are abundant. You are psychic. You, all, you are intuitive. You are chosen. This was an epic fail. Everything is fine. The Ten of Swords represents everything being fine. Every betrayal under the sun. These people called you bitches, whores, crazy, cuckoo. I'm hearing all kinds of nasty, nasty words being spoken over you. The recording angels were just standing there writing everything down. Uh-huh. Okay. And, and what else? Oh, okay. You want her to die? Okay. You want him to die? What you say? Okay. You want him? Okay. The spiritual hitmen are afraid. <laughs> Justice is here as soon as I picked up the deck. They're afraid. They're being demoted spiritually to a very immature, mind smoting type of a state. It's almost like something that um where they where somebody loses their mind, literally, like they have no mind. These are mindless actions. Somebody didn't think about what the outcome would be. But again, they assumed that the outcome would be in their favor. Okay? I cannot make this shit up. Spirit told me, stop right there. I always follow my intuition. Excuse me. Woo. I always follow my intuition. The Nine of Swords is stress, anxiety, sleepless nights. Well, listen, you were up all night praying against this divine chosen one or these divine chosen beings. And now you can't sleep now that you want to go to sleep? That's a mind that smote it flashbacks keep getting pictures of what they said flashbacks now they're all fighting there's conflict in their house justice is being served this is justice i just heard you will prevail you are victorious i just heard that real clear the battle has already been won they wanted your power they wanted you to die listen didn't i just tell you that these people are in a meeting about you and the meeting is going something like this. Well, you said to do it. Well, I don't know why you did it. I thought you said you had her hair. I thought you said you had his shoe. Well, don't you have his shirt? Well, is the voodoo doll working? Well, what about the practitioner? The practitioner's not answering the phone. The practitioner, something happened. Well, the practitioner got sick. Well, this is how the meeting's going. It's very all over the place. It's very chaotic. It's very lost. These people are trying to figure out how the hell they're going to get up out of this spiritual mess. They're trying to forget. Now, here's what's going to happen. It's going to fall upon the people, places, and things that they love the most first. And that's unfortunate because those are innocent casualties of war. You wanted to stay here so bad? The Most High going to let you stay here. You did anything to be here? My right eye is twitching. Somebody wants to see why I got the door open on them. It's okay. They're blinded to the light. Something just fell on the floor. Hold on. I'm going to take it exactly the way that it came up. Hold on. This card just fell. Oh, boy. Look at this. Na, 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 na. Says in the scriptures, the Most High said, if you go against me, you go against my word, you don't keep my commandments, I will turn a deaf ear to you. This is the Most High turning a deaf ear. They have no joy, no peace, no luck. They can't feel the presence of the Holy Spirit if they went to a store and tried to buy it from an Arab. Ah! Da -da 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 -da! Lost opportunity, delays, money loss, instability, greed, and overspending. These people overspent. How you gonna spend all this money when this high priestess, empress energy, a masculine can embody this too, this emperor energy, this temperance energy is priceless. This is the helping hand of the most high, you dumb dumbs. 
Tweedledee and stupid O's, you stupid though. How you going to, listen, the most high is smoting you. You're being removed from the bloodline, from the lineage. That's like snatching somebody's DNA out of them. Snatching any royalty that they had in their DNA because you were the gift out of them. They've been cut off from the bloodline. It's very, very clear, abundantly clear. They're in meetings. They're talking. They're drinking. They're trying to figure it out. They don't understand well, who the hell is this. Is he from this world? Is she from this world? Is she an alien? I don't know. What the hell is going on? These people are losing their shits. Somebody's got the shits. Somebody's got the bubble guts. <laughs> they could be seeing crows. It's a victory for you. They wanted to win at all costs, but it's a victory for you. Anything else we need to see, Spirit? Yeah, these are family members all day. All day. To God be the glory. All praise is due to the Most High God. This is a victory. You see your crown on your head? You're riding high. You didn't even know they were waging war on you. You never felt one bit of it. You just do 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 going about your father's work. You already been through hell and it really ain't too much the devil can do to you at this point. <laughs> you like, okay, well, listen. The worst is over. Let me show you what these cards were that came up. I told you, I can't make it up. Grief and sadness. I'm getting funeral. I'm getting grieving, a loss, a death. Uh, I'm getting innocent casualties of people that they put in these very toxic and vulnerable situations are going to lose their lives, lose their divinity. Why? Because they didn't go and tell the practitioner what it was that was going on. Now, because they were blinded to the truth, if they had really had a connection with the Most High, they wouldn't have done this. See, those entities were egging them on. Okay, it's going to work. Let's go to the graveyard. Okay, well, I got a guy. He can do this, blah, blah. If they were really tapped in, they would not have ever done this. They listened to the devil. They never had a connection with the Most High. This represents death. This represents a funeral. This represents ending. This represents grief. And they brought an innocent practitioner in who should have really checked the spiritual background of this divine being this person's now in grief i just heard completely lost and confused this person wants to forget what happened but they can't this is a collaboration i told you somebody in the family was working together they were celebrating your downfall before it happened they were excited and looking forward and waiting for the phone to ring to get the news that you were no more. That call never came. But you know what did come? Judgment. Poop. A poop poop. A poop. Can't make it up. You saw the cards fall. Destruction. Did you know that the city was only standing because you were one of the only people, one of few divine beings in the city still praying? Now that you've left the city, the city is falling. Did you know that the house was standing because you were the only one in the house praying, but now that you've left the house, the house has fallen? Did you know that a lot of these people were still under mercy and grace because you were one of the only people in the city, in the place, in the state that you were in, which was a high vibrational state, you were sustaining the energies around them, but now that you've been forced out of town, out of the house, the buildings have fallen. These people are pure bullshitters. Fake offers, fake love, page of cups. Hey, I love you. No, they don't. They don't even like themselves. They can't even they can't even sit and heal. It's crazy because even in them doing this to you, they really didn't have anything to gain. This was a complete and total loss. Falling from grace and divinity. Hell is a cold place. Needless to say, this is your reading. As always, stay upon your spiritual toes. Keep your spiritual eyes open. They inspired me to go harder. 
They've inspired me to continue to be about my father's work. And I promise you, I always come in peace, but best believe that the Most High is prepared for war. And that is what you're seeing. Keep your faith, keep your sanity. I always come in peace. I always greet you in the truth. Until the next video, as always, peace be with you.